is this the best value moto bag you can buy in the UK? There's often kit you need to take or you want to take things that you just want to know you've got there but you don't want to keep chopping and changing so high vis um, vest just in case you break down or if you go across to France obviously you absolutely need that um, but then there's other things I've got over gloves because so, I don't like waterproof gloves so I've got my normal gloves I've got waterproof over gloves that run with those so really find them incredibly useful um, but then you know you might want to take some zip ties a torch um, a tire pressure gauge um, I take some rock straps things like that um, you really need to have those with you but you don't just want to be chopping and changing them from tank bag to tail bag to top box and all those things so um, the solution I've come up with is these the Lone Rider Mini Moto 6 litre um, bags absolutely superb they are an eye-watering 149 quid for two but I still think they represent incredible value really really strong absolutely bomb proof 100% um, waterproof and at six litres each you can actually pack quite a bit of stuff in there attach them to the bike and completely forget about them um, and then when you need them there they are so the alternatives um, I've always struggled with a little bit so um, first one is obviously a tank bag uh, I do like a tank bag when I go away um, but from day to day stuff I just find they get in the way they're on top of the fuel um, filler um, I just feel my chest against it I don't really enjoy using them really useful if you go away for the weekend or the week um, because they'll pack quite a bit of stuff um, I will do a review of this Lone Rider one at some point um, really well made stuff I do love rope Lone Rider kit um, but that's an option not a big fan of that because you're going to chop and change um, you then have the uh, tank bag, sorry, tank bag, the uh, tail pack. Again, it's really useful, but if you go away for the weekend, you can't leave it on the back because you, you can't carry enough stuff in it. Um, it just doesn't hold enough, the tail pack doesn't. So you end up taking it as well as a top box for the weekend, so that doesn't really work. It's good for a day ride, but I don't want to be swapping kit between various bags. And obviously the last option is the top box. Um, great for going away, but just for bombing around the Cotswolds, doing short day rides, a little bit overkill. Don't like the way it looks on the bike, it ruins the bike a little bit for me. So um, that doesn't work. So the mini moto bags, six litres, so 12 in total, swallows all your kit, leave it in there, forget about it, and then at some point when you need it, it's there. Can't recommend it enough. So I deliberately at the beginning of the video said, are they the best value? They're certainly not the cheapest and they're certainly not the most inexpensive but value is that 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 sweet spot between cost and how much value they add to your ride and these uh, motor bags absolutely perfect um, the fixing systems are so good you can fit them almost anywhere mine fit to the uh, the, the crash bars on the front of the bike um, I think they make the bike look quite decent actually they don't ruin the look of it uh, and you could kind of forget they're there anyway can't recommend enough mini moto bags from Lone Rider. Um, if you found that useful, uh, give us a subscribe. There's lots of other Lone Rider kit reviews coming and some rides locally. Um, and also a thumbs up and like would be really useful for a channel this new. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon.